Libra, how you doing? So I keep hearing for a lot of you, I want to be in on the industry and I want to be in on it. I want I want in on it or in it or Steve or something. But they keep saying like I want in on that. So they keep saying something around industry or like I want to get an in on the industry and I want to be seen on the in crowd and I want to be in on the scene. Like someone keeps doing things that are very obscene, okay, or ob oblique. I keep hearing oblique or oblique. Something to do with that. Is that a name? I don't know. But they keep saying, like, I want to be in on the industry and I need to get in on the in crowd, okay? And in order to be able to do that, I need to be seen. And for a lot of it, if I'm honest, it's coming across as if, like, I want to be seen, but I want, don't want to be heard. Like, I don't want to be heard. I don't want to be seen. I just want to be seen. I just want to be looked at. So I don't know if this is coming across as slightly weird for you or the person. I don't know. But all I keep hearing is, is I'm prepared to do anything to get in on the scene. Like, and I have to hang around with that crowd in order to get in. So it feels like if your name's not down or Dan, you're not coming in. So it feels like that there's a locked door. Okay, a locked door or Jim, Julian, Jason, Justin, Jackie, Jasmine, Jim Morrison. But like, there's a locked door. Okay. And it feels like I can't get in. And it feels like I need invitation. Okay. And if I don't have an invitation, I can't get in. So some of you are trying to get in with something that's locked out, okay? Or you've been shut out and you've been locked out. You see, if I'm honest, I started this again because it was coming through as, again, Jen, Julian, Jason, Justin, Jackie, Jasmine. But like, uh, I, I, I've had to start this again, N, Jen, some of you have a seven or a Cancerian. I've had to do this again because, uh, I don't know, it started to come through very strange and very bitty. And slightly, some of it was coming through from the Virgo reading, if I'm honest, around inadvertently doing things to try and be seen, but inadvertently doing it without having to do it. <laughs> so I keep hearing all I want to do is do it. Like all I want to do is do it. I do it. OK, so whatever that is that you want to do, it's like, well, I'll do you if you do it. So <laughs> I don't know. There's this daring energy. Darren or anybody beginning with D. OK, but daring energy. And I'll do it if you'll do it. So like this, sorry if you've noticed that I'm trying out a different lighting system just to get rid of that, okay. Um, but I, sorry, my ears are popped. So I don't, <laughs> I don't know, my ears are just popped. Um, I don't know, it's very strange and I'm kind of doing it again and backtracking. It's kind of like I'm going tracking, trekking, star trekking, something to do around Aquarian or Leo, right, and I'm star trekking. And I'm starstruck, like I am so starstruck that some of you are just so trying to get in on the industry, is all they keep saying, like I am starstruck, okay. So it's kind of like, tonight Matthew, I'm going to be something else. And someone keeps changing their appearance or keeps changing things that much, or a thing, or a Stephen, or you know, another Stephen. But like, I keep changing, like I keep changing everything up and I keep, I don't know, is it a confusing person? Is it Gemini energy somewhere? But like, uh, I keep changing, so it's got to be Scorpio, sorry, Scorpio, has to be a Scorpio energy of four maybe, okay, and I keep changing things, and I'm changing, I keep hearing nothing compares to you, Chris or Cornell, right, or Christine, and uh, man, I don't know what kind of signal this is giving off, that's what I'm saying, like I can't work the energy out what it is that someone wants. And I don't think they do. Like, I mean, it really could be you because it's kind of coming up as two. Like, I, I can't figure out what I want. Like, I really don't know who I want, what I want, who I am, where I belong, and all that kind of stuff. And a lot of this is like trying to get in on the industry. Well, how long have you been trying to get in on the industry? And what kind of industry is it that you want to be in? Because a lot of you, I, I heard Wu-Tang Clan right at the beginning. And I'm in on the clan. Okay, oh, okay. So there might be, ooh, okay. What kind of clan is that that I'm in on? Okay. So some of you, it's as if like, because I'm picking up energies of uh, Illuminati and stuff like that, and I'm in on the wrong crowd. Like I'm in with people that do magic or, <laughs> trust me, bro, I do not say these kind of things lightly. But like, um, you know, people like Angelina Jolie and like Brad Pitt and all that. 
in order to get in on the industry, like the film industry or the music industry, they joined, as far, as far as I know, they got a promise by like a big artist and like big labels and stuff like that. And they got in with the wrong crowd and pretty much they, I mean, is it called the Illuminati? I've got no fucking idea, bruv. <laughs> but like, um, they keep telling me like, be very careful around the people that you're trying to get attention from here. Because they're saying that I'm prepared to do anything to be in on the industry and I'll do anything to also be seen. Okay. And uh, it's kind of like that you have this obscene kind of amount of, well, the, huh. they said an obscene amount of flirtatious behavior to be able to get what I want. Okay. That's what my spirit says. Don't shoot the messenger. But I just heard I'm, uh, I'm doing things that are obscene. Okay. So I don't know. Are there sexual acts or sexual flaunting or uh, something of like, I'm prepared to do whatever it is in order to be seen. Okay. Man, I've just heard that I'll sleep my way to the top. <laughs> so I don't know what that is for you. Um, I'm prepared to do whatever it is to be seen. I don't know. For some of you, not all of you, I think you're, you're taking a risk and a gamble putting all of your eggs into one basket by... I mean, as this worked, because your, your messages for a long time had this string of failed attempts, right? And I've been attempting something. Whoa, man, they all keep saying like attempted murder. What is that? Attempted murder or attempted suicide or a temperance, something to do around Sagittarius or, well, it could also be a Taurus. But like uh, I'm tempting. See, someone is alluring someone in for temptation. Like I'm desirable and I'm tempting and I'm temptation like Mm, it's around, it's got to be like Sagittarius Taurus energy. But like, I'm tempting fate. Like I am, so some of you are messing around with a karmic energy and you keep trying to get the attention of your karmic energy by putting yourself out there. And this is why this was coming through in the Virgo reading. It's where someone keeps, and I wanted to get away from it, but it's coming back again. Like people that are putting themselves out there in the industry of like, I don't know, Facebook, YouTube or whatever. But some of these people are being watched by wrong energies, like they're being watched. And the only way that I can think this is, is either one, if you have YouTube channels and everybody's been like, oh no, I know my ex watches my channel and everything. And some of you, you're putting things out there because you know your exes watch, okay. And some of you, you're thinking that they are or you don't know that they are. And you're kind of like putting energy out there of tempting fate, which means that I'm putting stuff out there because I feel someone's watching me, but I don't know. Okay. And some of you have got like channels or like Facebook, YouTube, fucking Twitter, I don't know. And like I'm putting stuff out there to be seen by a specific clientele and person. But for some of you, you're tempting fate and trying to get the energy of like your ex or your ex-husband or something like that watching watching okay because i keep hearing the watchman okay or the watching like i know you're watching i know you're watching i know you're all watching me i know that you're all watching me see again someone <laughs> somebody is self-absorbed of like being watched like i know that you're all watching me i know that you're all watching me and i know that you all like to look at me uh -oh, okay <laughs> I, I, like I said, please don't shoot the messenger. I don't care what everyone's doing. I mean, like I said, this could be your partner. I don't know. Or your desired interest. But I'm hearing something around Capricorn or Gemini. And like, watch, like, well, it would be Lucifer Morningstar. But like, uh, like, what's your desire? Like, what is your desire? What, like, someone's extremely desirable. And they're using desire to get what they want. Like, I'm going to use... Man, they keep saying, I'm just using you to get what I want. I'm only using you just to get what I want. So is this a person that's treating you that way, Libra? I mean, I, I don't know. When I come out with these messages, I have no clue. But I just keep picking up that I'm using you just to get something, and that's it. Like, I only want you for a certain thing, and that's it. Okay. <coughs> Or is there fear around this? Like, I'm only using you just to get what I want. And then once I finish with you, I'm going to throw you away like a piece of trash. Okay, or the name Ash or Ashley. But I keep hearing that, that I'm only just with you, just or Justin, 
or just this, which is Libra, I'm doing a Libra, or another Libra. But I'm hearing like, I'm only using you just for one thing and that's it. Like I, I don't want you for anything else. I just want to use you for this specific thing and that's it. Unless some of you are just using me just to, which everybody says, it doesn't matter, I don't care. But like a lot of people always tell me, I only use you just to clarify what I already know and then I'm off to another channel. <laughs> I don't care what people do. But I am hearing that, honestly, as a, as a message, like I'm only using you just to get what I want and that's it. Okay. And the only reason I say it is because every time I say it, I come up with Stephen King. That's how I channel. So for a lot of you, you may know another Stephen. And apparently there's loads of people that also know another Steve or Stephen. So that name is coming up and it's disturbing because it's my own one. <laughs> so disturbed, like disturbing. But like, am I disturbing you? Someone's worried about if they are disturbing someone. I, I, I don't know what this is. I mean, are there multiple people here that are fighting to get in the industry? And it's a fight to get into the industry and you have to beat off competition. Because I'm hearing like, I have to beat, I have to make a beat. So it's something to do around music. Well, I mean, I make music, as a lot, a lot of you know, for Angel Radio. And uh, in that kind of industry, that's fucking really difficult. You know, <laughs> you've, trust me, like... If you're in the music industry or like um, anything to do with like filming or like modeling and stuff like that, man, there is so much competition out there. Like if you've been beating your head up against the brick wall trying to get in with like beats and making music and stuff, if you, like, I mean, I'm not ever one to like crush someone's desires, but you have to be in with obviously what you're probably looking for, which is, I'm look at witches. <laughs> you're probably looking to be in with the witches. I don't know. That's what they keep saying. But like um, signing contracts, like I'm looking to be signed and I'm looking to be in on a contract and I want a contract. I want a modeling contract. I want a music contract. I want this work contract. I want to be contracted. <laughs> contractions. Some, oh, okay, some of you might be looking into contractions. You might be going into labor. I don't know. And I'm also picking up public stuff as well, like the labor party. So like people that are British and stuff like that, like the British Labour Party or lab laboratory, laboratory. So some of you, um, Tory, the name Tory or Tory Wilcox, great artist, right? Tory, but like um, Jack and Ori, Jack, Julian, Jason, Justin, Jasmine, story time, something to do with story time, story time, let's tell a story. Let's tell a story, let's tell a story, story time. I mean, do you do this with children, like read stories? I don't know. Uh, anyway, all of your messages are around getting in with the industry. And I need to get in with the industry. But, pff, man, how long have you been trying this? Like I said, you, like, you know, I mean, I make music, but there's no way that my music career would be anything other than just fun, really. There would, it would be nothing more than just fun. I came to come to that conclusion after a while that, um, you know, that... Pff, in order to be in on the industry of music, y'all got to have like great voices, great material, be able to make music. And then when you can do all of those kind of things, you have to then have major amount of stuff out there all in the right directions. And I, I don't know, I mean, I, I find it that it's obviously very difficult because I think that a lot of you are trying to get in because they don't say that I am in with the industry. I am the name I am. They keep saying I keep trying to get in, in. Like I keep, see someone keeps trying to get in with people that are like huge stars. Like I'm always trying to go towards someone that's bigger than me. Okay. That like in order for me to make it, I mean, I don't know if this is where I'm prepared to sleep my way to the top or I'm, I'm prepared to do anything to get to the top. And I, like, I don't know. I don't know what, what it means coming up for you. Because I keep hearing that someone keeps going, like, for, like... Because I keep picking up on people that are, like, really attractive, okay? And that I have to keep going. And this is what we were saying in the... This is why I stopped the channeled stuff and pretty much just like that. Because... You know, I'll just give you a scenario of people like in this town, okay? Some people are so, <laughs> so up their own ass, just put it that way, are so up their own ass. 
And the, the analogy came up for a Virgo reading as well. I'm not saying someone asked if I hate Virgos. Of course I don't. I'll explain in a moment. But I don't hate any sign. I don't hate anybody. Okay. I would never say that I hate anybody in life. I don't hate anybody. Um, it's a strong word in order to say hate, really. <clears throat> but, um, you know, here, there was always a lot of energy of, like, don't touch what you can't afford. Okay, I'm, like, waiting for a perfect person. They've got to be on flick, on time. They have to be, you know, they have to be how I want them to be. Okay. And, um, oh, I don't know. Forget that, because that's probably not here. I just don't know where that's coming through. Because it's kind of like this energy of I'm holding out for a hero. Like, they have to have so many certain qualities about them in order for me to even give, like, even flick an eyelid at them. Like, they have to have perfect. Like, it has to be perfect. It has to be perfect. And it feels like striving for perfection, but then also if it's to do with around love and trying to get in, you're trying to perfect and perform energies of that can come across as false. Okay, false. Because... Oh, I don't know. I'm going to leave it. I keep getting a feeling like I'm going to get some backlash here from people of thinking I'm like picking on a sign or something. Of course I'm not. Like I, I don't care what people do. But I just keep picking up this like I'm prepared to do anything to get in the industry or to be in with people that are in the industry. Okay. And I'm prepared to do whatever it takes to be in on that. See, I've got to be very careful there. Okay. Just leaving it at that. Because um, I'm picking up like modelling careers, I'm picking up on like any kind of career itself and that I have to get in on this crowd to be in a, with a chance of something that I might not have. But if I, if I one day get in with the right person, they're going to give me a complete boost and lift to get what I want to reach the ultimate goal of success. And um, that's what I just keep picking up for you. Like it's this striving for success to be in with the right crowd and the in crowd. Well, trust me, I've done that for many years and that never turned out with my highest good. It didn't, you know. Striving to be in with a certain crowd is where you follow the pack of wolves. Okay, so you have to be very careful when it comes to people sniffing out and sniffing around energies of a flock of wolves. You've, you've got to be very careful around those energies. Um, yeah, because if you run with the wolves, then, um, yeah, I'm going to leave it at that. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I think it's too bright again. I don't know. Anyway, let's see. Um, let's change things up a little, Libra. So that's your channel stuff. Um, now it's too bright one side. <laughs> anyway, Libra. Sun rising Venus, Jupiter, North Node. So if you didn't know, it's because I have all this huge light, light up here and it's just too bright in my... Like I can't ever see anything and I'm trying to look for an energy of a, um, a decent... What do you call it? Lighting thing. I don't know what the fuck I'm saying, bro. <laughs> anyway, sorry. Uh, let's see. Libra. Libra. What's going on with Libra? What's going on with Zebra? What's going on with Deb? Debbie Meyer. Debbie, Debbie, Debbie. All the Debbies. All right, Debbie, Debbies. Um, Debbie, Debbie. Oh, okay. Uh, Debbie Downer. <laughs> come down. Come over. Come on down is what I'm hearing. So I'm trying to manifest as much as I possibly can. I am back at what I'm back at. I'm back. <laughs> I'm back. So Jack, Julian, Jason, Justin, Jackie. But like, I am back at ground zero. I'm starting off. So, um, something to do with, uh, oh, what's his name? Bam, bam, bam. Um, sorry, I've got a song in my head and an artist in my head. It's something to do with around music. Um, David Bowie. Dave, David, David, Avid, 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 Marion, Marion, Mel, Melissa, Maria, Maria, you gotta see her, 
So starting at ground zero and starting over again, the same cycle to do the same thing. Eat, sleep, rave, repeat. There is someone up here of a magician that can help. Okay. Because there's an energy of light needing to ground myself in order to come back to reality. Because some there could be snap, there goes rabbity, up oh, there goes abbity. Abigail, up oh, they go again. Up oh, the charts. I keep hearing like, up oh, <laughs> up your ass or up your... <laughs> or like, uh, up the charts. Like I'm trying to climb the charts. And I'm trying to get in on the charts. Or chatters. Or chatteress. Trying to get someone in my mattress, I keep hearing as well. Trying to get someone in on my mattress. Uh, Libra. So Aries, wow. So Aries or Scorpio, four. So, all right, greatest. Um, yeah, for a lot of you, there's very stuck, stagnant, strict energy here like trying to run my own business or you know someone that does like you know i mean like i said there's a lot going on because i have this in jupiter so there is a lot going on when i was talking about things that were going on up in the sky and how stuck and stagnant things can feel okay but uh i know how this feels through being in jupiter and also chiron so it's kind of like an energy of like needing to give a little to grow okay because it's like i said it's needing to be around people that are secure okay to get in on an industry because this person would have a huge industry in a certain way or a huge ego but that's why it would also be a four with scorpio energy but like i need a new beginning and i need a new start and i need to be in with the crowd in the in the, all i keep hearing is in it in it or intimate or intimate like i need to be intimate that's what they keep saying are you being intimate with someone because I keep hearing, or oh, Emma, or Emily, Melissa, Maria, Matilda, but like, I need to be intimate. So I need connection. I need to be close. Close to you. Am I close to you? Someone lives close to somebody, or you live down the close. <laughs> I actually live down the close. Well, Grove, I live down. But like, um, <laughs> I'm hearing that lives down the lane. Elaine, Elaine, or Paige, or Elaine Page. But like, um... Little Bo Peep, or like uh, that lives down the lane. Three bags full. One for the master of none. <laughs> but like one for the master and one for the nun. Something to do with the nun. But like, uh, or the nurse. Something to do with all oh, matron. But like a nurse, or a nursing career, or a nun. Um, but I keep hearing the master of none. You know, this, you know, this you all know that saying, right? I'm the master of many, but the master of none. Someone's really religious here, or Catholic. I keep hearing the Catholic Church here, the Catholic Church. Um, Sorry, I'm picking up a Jim Morrison reference <laughs> again. Jim Jolene, Jason, Justin, Jackie, Jasmine. Um, the Evangelical Church. The Evan, Evie, Evie, DV, Steve. The Evangelical. Someone's angelic here. Very angelic. So, which means spiritual. But that would mean, obviously, everybody that's fucking watching. But I mean, there's a compatibility here of someone that's spiritual, okay? Something of uh, a new beginning and a fresh start, which means a, a new person. And it can be somebody, if you're looking, that is um, angelic, which means like I'm looking for a connection and I'm looking to network through a connection here because the magician would need to form a connection to network here. Because this is, for some reason, this is all about public networking but it's also about spiritual connection and networking. The way you climb the ladder is, of success is jump ship, which is you form a connection of a person and it pulls you from your past and it also pulls you towards something of success by networking. So it requires moving, but it requires uh, a connection has to be built with a person first 
in order to see how the connection goes to grow. When you can grow spiritually out of a connection of trust here, and you can trust you and trust this person if you've got someone you're like, I know there's a friend in need and a friend in need and someone that I could trust. Because there's energy of trust being here, there would be like a trust fund, okay? So some of you are looking for funding or a trust fund or looking for someone that's fun and also trusting that can help you up in the industry of a connection that can be built, okay? Which then, if that would lead to any kind of connection spiritually here, that could end up elevating you towards an energy of this here, which is success, okay? Because it's like I'm networking and I need to network myself with someone that can support here. So I need a support worker, I am a support worker, or I need to work a network around a person that is stable in my life, that isn't going to leave, that is secured enough to help me financially, okay? But it has to be honest, because... It's a, it's a, this person here could be very financially well off here, okay? So there's this energy of like, I can do what I want. I can do whatever I want, but nothing, nothing can take away those blues. Cause nothing compares, nothing compares to you. So yeah, you see, like I've said to many people in life, I spend, uh, sorry I have to talk about myself, but like money to me is, I don't think, I don't worry and think about money, I just don't. Like I've always had my own business from a young age, like I built this place and I was a bricklayer and so on and so forth and all of those kind of things. So I've never like, had to worry about those, that sort of stuff, right? And like through working many, 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 many years to be able to be comfortable, it took a lot of hard work in order for me to be able to do this and be very comfortable and happy doing this because of the, the financial backing that I was also left because I was left half of this house, like half of this house is mine. Okay, <clears throat> so it's a long story, but like, you know, like when it comes to music, um, like I can do my music just for free and for fun and I don't worry about you know, whether I'm making it and whether I'm not making it and whether I'm going to make it because I also have this and I also have another job and networking when it comes to that if this is here for you guys and there's any advice that I can give you networking like for me obviously I've got this channel I've got another channel I've got like a, a t-shirt range and a shop I've got patron I've got private readings I've got investments you know and it's like networking is basically about like having different kind of networks of money and 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 having that to be able to feel comfortable for the future so this would be like a retirement fund and stuff like that or fundraising or someone that has that already okay or pulling a fundraiser or pulling a putchy and someone abandoning somebody but um yeah, that seems to be coming up with a lot of uh, conspiracy when I was making the videos around like um, the feeling. The feeling at the moment, me, I'm going to end up being grounded very soon and I should be fine. It's just a lot of stuff that is going on up in the sky for a lot of us. Um, but like, yeah, I was talking to someone in the chat there on the comments. And um, yeah, I don't fear about leaving this place. Everybody was saying that where they live is a dead-ended road. And I believe that every door that we face when we're spiritual... Each door leads back to the same because we all are karmic energies, all of us, of course. Okay, and I have moved city, town, country, and uh, everywhere. Like, I have been fucking everywhere in my life. So, and I've tried every single door and opportunity that has arisen. I've gone that way, okay? I've always gone that way. And everything is always led back to a same door, okay? Always, every time. Um, so, it's not fear about leaving because me, I'm completely and utterly comfortable. Like, and, but... The energy of connection, everybody will always say, because everybody did in those videos, that where they live is a dead end in town and there's no, like, there's no energy of a person that is serious about where they live. I don't know. Do they or do they not? I'm going to move on with the... I don't know what this is for. Let's see, Libra. Libra. Wow. Holy shit. You should be in a strong commitment. If you're not in a strong commitment already, 
there is a new, because a lot of you, I don't know whether you're looking for new or old or nobody, but like this magician energy here, there is someone that is extremely stable. So you should be in a relationship with this person. And if not, and you're fighting against them, then you're fighting a losing battle here. Because uh, love is a battle. So you should really be with someone that is has their own business, has their own company, the father of your child. I mean, if you're waiting for the father, like I keep hearing like I'm waiting for my father. Or like I'm waiting to hear from my father. Oh, okay, this came up where I channeled it in the Virgo reading. My dad was an Aries, and my brother was an Aries, and my nan was an Aries, and they all passed. And, um, yeah, uh, Icarus, right, was waiting to hear if I could only hear your voice one more time. Okay, so they're with you. They're with you. They are with you. There you go. So they are with you. So, unfortunately, I cannot mimic people's voices, but I can give you a message there. They love you. They're watching you grow. They're watching you successfully be who you are. But they're saying make wise decisions. And they're saying always make sure that you make the right one. <laughs> well, wouldn't they just say that, right? But make, always make sure you make the right decision and go for someone that you know that is financially secure that can help you, okay? That can help you if you're looking for help. But, because there is someone here, okay? But, um... Let's have a look at the person on the other side connected to Libra. The other side connected to Libra. Because if this isn't you, this is them. That's what I'm saying. There's a person here that is manifesting their business, their heart's desire, their dream, their money, their house. They've either took everything from you and they've got it or you've got it. Or if this is a connection that is spiritual, this person has the whole package here. Has the package deal. It's a little bit like my patron and I've said this to everybody on tier one you're more than likely to catch chlamydia or some shit like that but if you go for the full package you pretty much can walk yourself straight into a relationship so that's up to you which one you choose right I always say door number three <laughs> well like uh you know <laughs> um here yeah y'all got you know this person here is successfully financially secure set for life a very stable person now if you're not with them this is the person that is here for you okay because this is also a scorpio energy here but this can be a paradox so i ain't going to go through the amount of numerology of how i read um but let's see the other person connected to libra which means that this can also be you you should be talking with this person here you got water sign energy possible cancer scorpio or pisces um you probably have children, you probably have children of your own or with the person already and you've got kids together. Or the name Eddie or Ed, okay, Edwina. Uh, how are you doing Edwina anyway? I haven't heard from you in a long time. How are you? Uh, if you're still watching. Uh, so we're going to do this again. Show me the other person. Some of you really have... Yeah, there's a Cancerian energy. Some of you, some of you do have children. That five of pentacles kind of come up because it's needing support. Okay, it's needing support, and it's support networking, needing money financially in order to be able to help. Because I was kind of picking up an, uh, um, a reading, uh, a channel message of that. But you've got Cancerian or life path seven, okay, uh, four uh, life path four or Scorpio or Aries, but. Yeah, there is, there's networking, there's talking, there's traveling, there's visiting, and there's seeing here. So you're either seeing someone or not, and you're interested in someone. A not might be afraid not, might be a Piscean maybe, but um, or a Cancerian. But there's an energy here of discussion and talking about visiting, or even talking, going forward on a project. Um, let's see. Libra, Libra's other person. The Queen of Pentacles, holy fuck, man. What is going on, Libra? Y'all should be set for life. This actually came up in the Aries reading. In the Aries reading. If you're not financially secure and settled with a person, then you're on your own financially secure and settled. And if you're not, there's a person here for you. The King and the Queen, because they're actually both looking at each other, funnily enough. In one of the other readings, I think it was Gemini, right? 
this side there was a counterpart of water signs cancer uh, the king of cups and the queen of cups and they were on one side and that's the only counterparts I've had so far well that I've come out on here and these two people are looking at one another here it's, it's sometimes I read how the cards look and are and they are very curious about this energy And if not, you're already in one. Like if you're if you're not curious about someone new, for a lot of you, you're already in this. Like you already have your person, okay, and you're with them. And if you're not, you're just about to speak to them here. You're just about to speak and say something, because it is it. This, you see, the thing is with a new connection, the new connection has to be formed by both people. You have to be in an agreement because a card can tell you of any possibility but it has to be agreed upon as an agreement of a contract, right? And there's something about this contract, um, and it's a working contract, a working career, or, um, or someone that is in career itself, okay? Um, but if not, and you're looking for someone new, then there's pretty much communication of a stable contract. I mean, y'all couldn't get any stable than this. This is someone that is probably as much as financially secure and set for life as what you may, may well be here. Because if you're not together, then there's a good possible chance of this being old or new. I don't know. I can't tell you as yet. Because a lot of people, they also look for a lot of the negative energies. And there is nothing negative that I can tell you here at the moment. I don't want it to be. But obviously I'm not going to find out what, what is coming up for you until I clarify so if you want to know, you can join the full access bundle. Like I said, the tier one will give you chlamydia or uh, anything like that. But tier two, like if you go to the full access bundle, obviously it's going to have condoms and everything on there. So <laughs> you'll be safe in the hands of the full access bundle. It'll have pretty much everything in there. Um, <laughs> right, but uh, yeah, it's just the full access bundle. It has monthlies, weeklies, bi-weeklies, thoughts, feelings, sometimes. I don't know, it changes all the time. But email is below for personal readings angel radio if you want to follow angel radio it's another channel it's free free music you can go and watch it to your heart's content if you like it's also on this one uh emails provided below for patron all that sort of stuff thanks very much libra i really appreciate it and i'll see you soon